Okay, we're going to take a look at Summer of 69, a bit of a classic Brian Adams track this, probably uh, in, I'd say, a good 80% of most working cover band sets. Um, I think I've been playing this song since I was about 14, maybe even younger than that. Um, a very, very straightforward tune to play, um, only a few chords, but nonetheless a very effective song and it's definitely one of those tracks that's uh, stood the test of time. Uh, still, you know, it seems to be a very popular track. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is kick off and play through the introduction and the verse for you, which is based around uh, just the chords of D5, uh, which is uh, open D, second fret G and third fret B, and then A5, which is open A, second fret D and second fret of the G. Uh, when the rest of the band kicks in, there are some additional guitar overdubs, some clean overdubs, which are like a D, sus2, and an A sus2, but we're not going to worry too much about those. Obviously, if you are going to learn this track and play it in a, in a covers band and you've got two guitar players, then the other guitarist can take the role of just, you know, holding those chords. So I'm going to kick off with the introduction and the first verse. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> pretty straightforward um, but the most important thing with this riff is to really maintain a very steady and solid eighth note rhythm and also the accents of the chords now to achieve the accents you'll notice that from the picking hand I'm doing a series of downstrokes no alternate uh, picking or strumming um, whatsoever all downstrokes keeping the hand very light and I just take this fleshy part here on the side of my hand and I just let lightly rest um, on the edge of the bridge saddle. So instead of getting a clean, you know, sustaining bright chord, you get a, a muted sort of slightly muffled sound. Um, if like me, you have your uh, whammy bars set so that they float, which means they'll go either way, uh, be careful when you lean on the bridge because obviously if you push down on it, then you're gonna force the guitar out of tune. So, the accents occur on one and the and after two. So you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. There's one extra one that I forgot there, which is on beat four of the second bar. So it's basically a two bar sequence. So all that we have to do is just simply take the mute away to give us the nice clear chord and then bring the mute back down. So you get this three, four, one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now from D five to A five. Back to D five. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the chorus section and uh, a few more chords going on here. So uh, I'll play through it for you first of all, and then we'll take a look. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, starts off with a B5 chord, which is 2nd fret A, 4th fret D, and 4th fret G. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So the idea is that you hold the chord uh, on beat 1, re-strike on the and after 2. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So then we play a muted root note on the and after 3, play the chord on 4, another, another mute. Might sound... Uh, 
you know, rather long-winded, but you know, if you get these pushes, uh, the point where you strike the chord correct, it, it, everyone kind of gels into that uh, into that same feel. So two, three, and four, um, like so. So then we play the A chord, the A5 chord. So open A, second fret D and G, D5. Now G5, um, third fret E, and when you play that, I'd lay your second finger across the second string, uh, sorry, the second string, across the fifth string, uh, so that you're muting it out. And then we've got open D and G, and then play the third fret of the B and third fret of the top E. And back to B5. D5. G. final time we hold our uh, A5 chord. Now underneath that um, there's actually uh, another guitar playing some chord arpeggios which I should really share with you um, because these give uh, some you know harmonic movement because everything that we played so far has just been root and fifth there's been no minor or major thirds so we're playing B minor, A major, D major, G5, B minor, A, D major, back to G. So you can hear how it's um, you know giving it a little bit of movement. Okay, then we're on to our uh, our little pre. Uh, verse section, I suppose, which is uh, exactly the same as the uh, introduction. Um, I'll play through it for you and then we'll just take a look. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, just going between the chords of D5 and A5, but the uh, accenting is um, uh, slightly different, as I said. So we're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, I'll do that one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we change from the D5 to exactly the same thing with the A5. Back to D. 